Hey, what is happening everybody? You are back with the Real PG for another NBA player props video for today, November the 22nd. Before we get into the picks, I do need to drop a quick news announcement as well as cover some basic things. If you could please smash that like button if you're getting value out of my videos and content. If you've not yet subscribed to the page, please make sure to subscribe and click that bell button so you're getting notified on the most up-to-date information on player injuries, player line movement, and anything else in regards to today's slate. Last but not least, and certainly the most important, you will find three links in the description section. One is for the free Discord, which is a group of about 550 like-minded individuals constantly talking, NBA, NFL, prize picks, Thrive, you name it. So that is the first link. The second link you're going to find is for the paid VIP Patreon. Last but not least, you're going to find a link for Thrive Fantasy. This is the most important link currently as we are running an awesome promotion. Everybody in my community, and by my community I mean sub to my YouTube channel and a member of my Discord. If you are not already, just become a member of the Discord and sub to the YouTube and this offer is available to you as well. I am offering my top tier Patreon, which runs $40 a month, free to anybody till the end of 2022. All they need to do is three simple things. They're going to head over to thrivefantasy.com with the link below. They're going to sign up using my user code PG. Next, you're going to deposit. You need to deposit a minimum of $10. You can deposit as much as you'd like. They will match up to $100 with a 100% match. So if you deposit 10, you'll get 10. If you deposit 50, you'll get 50. If you deposit 100, you'll get 100. Last but not least, you're going to play in a, any paid entry. So again, you're going to come on, sign up using my code, deposit a minimum of $10, and play in one paid entry. And then you're going to come on Discord, send me a message saying, Hey man, I've taken care of the Thrive requirements. I will check with my contact at Thrive, and as soon as I really confirm that you have done everything, you will get moved immediately into the Patreon, where you will see all of the Patreon plays, you can scroll back, you will get access to the VIP penthouse chat. Sorry guys. Where you'll get access to the VIP chat as well as the plays. So that is extremely valuable for everybody in this community right now to just go over and give Thrive Fantasy a shot. It is something completely different than what you're getting at your traditional site as they also offer a DFS portion. So it's basically like a FanDuel, DraftKings, and your other prize picks underdog sites combined into one. So basically you're getting the best of all worlds in one site. Come on over and give it a shot. With that being said, guys, let's get into today's plays. People have asked that I've been given more than one to two plays like I have lately, so I will certainly do that for my community. So I'm going to drop you four today. Let's start off with DeAnthony Melton and his 5.5 rebounds. He's in a great matchup against Brooklyn, uh, one of the worst teams as far as rebounds go against all positions, guard, forward, and center. So I do like this line at 5.5. I think it will get bumped to 6, therefore needing 7 to cash it, and I don't love that as much. He's hitting 4 of the last 5, as you can see, ranging from 5 to 10 rebounds with totals of 7, 10, 6, 7, and 5. If we take a look over on Pinnacle, at 5.5 rebounds, he comes in at minus 142 to the over and plus 107 to the under, so there's some glaring value uh, on the sportsbook as well. So... Given all of those things, I think Melton is basically a lock with no hard in today. Um, yeah, so that's first play. 5.5 rebounds. We're taking the more on DeAnthony Melton. Next, let's take a look at John Conchar, and we're going to be taking a look at his rebounds against Sacramento. This should be an up-paced game. Lots of shots, therefore lots of rebounds available. Conchar has been a stud lately, hitting seven or more in every game in the last five. If we do hop over to Pinnacle to take a peek at the line,
I am on, jeez, I am tripping. I am in the wrong game. <laughs> Click the same game I was just in prior. Misclick. Try that again. All right, John Conchar. I was wondering why he wasn't there. All right, so John Conchar and his 6.5 rebounds. So they have juiced it to 7 on prize picks, which is no surprise. But it is a minus 144 line at 6.5. I do like this considering the Vegas line is strong, the matchup is strong and up-paced, and his last five looks great. So lock in John Conchar. It's play number two over seven rebounds. Next, let's take a look at the modest bonus. And we're going to be taking a look at his assist prop. He has hit this in nine of the last ten games, four of the last five games. 5.5, this will most likely be bumped to six, therefore requiring seven to cash, and that steals basically all the value away. So let's take a look at Sabonis and see what Pinnacle thinks about that play. So over 5.5 assist comes in at a minus 149 so if they do bump this to six it will lose all value basically and at the under 5.5 comes in at a plus 113 so this is a great play so you can go ahead and lock in Sabonis over 5.5 assist for the third play and last but not least we're going to go back to old faithful this line has not failed me one time that I've played it, and I've played it, I think, probably eight or nine times in the last 10, 11 games. Um, so we're looking at Harrison Barton and his steals. So the line for this is also insane. So if we take a look over at Harrison Barnes, um, they combine steals and blocks at minus 185, right? That steals and blocks, we're looking at just steals on prize picks. I get that, but look at the blocks line plus 331 to get a block he ain't getting a block so that means he's minus 185 to get a steal at least minus 185 to get a steal that value is absolutely insane he has also been just annihilating this prop so after he missed it last game i especially like it in this game against Memphis, who does tend to get a little sloppy when they get up paced. So this is a perfect opportunity, I think. So we're going to lock that in as play number four. Now let's head on over to Thrive Fantasy and take a look at a couple plays over there. So I do like over here, we're going to look at Sabonis again. They do not offer the assist prop, but they do have a PRA prop. I do like the more on his PRA. If we look at Sabonis's PRA... At 33.5, he comes in at a minus 142 to the over, plus 107 to the under. Major value, lock it in. Play number one, Demonis Sabonis. Next play we're going to be looking at is Kevin Herter in his 14.5 points. So let's get down to Kevin Herter and take a peek. So the Vegas line on Kevin Herter is plus 102 to the over, minus 135 to the under. I am not much of one to be an under better, but I don't really love this spot against Memphis. It seems like Vegas agrees. If we take a look, actually, I haven't done this yet personally, but we will take a look together at the shooting guards matchup, and we're looking at points and against Memphis. So let's see how bad the matchup actually is. Where are you at, Memphis? Okay, so it's about a middle-of-the-road matchup. So, again, Vegas line is not great. Middle-of-the-road matchup. Let's see what Herter has been doing for a last five. He's had, honestly, he's had four overs and one under. But given this matchup, he's also played Detroit, Brooklyn, the Lakers in three of those four games, and then the Warriors where they were blown out and all their starters sat. So makes sense. Some very, very easy matchups. This is not that same matchup, so I do like the under for Kevin Herter. With that, that is what I've got for you guys today. If you're tailing, I wish you the best of luck. Again, please look into the Thrive Fantasy promotion in order to get 
your free VIP All Access Patreon free until the end of 2022. Again, if you need more details on it, you can come on the YouTube page. There is a video entitled News Drop that you can take a look at uh, right here. And it has all of the directions. Or you can come into the community section of my page. And the first post has all of the details. So you can come on. It explains everything. Make sure to follow the details, guys. And then once you've done that, hop on Discord and let me know. Until the next one, guys, peace.